Hey, welcome back to It's Just Gems. Please hit that like button as you enter the room. I want to just discuss reparations. Now, reparations has been a hot button issue that has grown in demand over the last two and a half years, especially after George Floyd. And even digging back into his past, his great grandfather had land stolen from him that could have generated generational wealth for his family and may have led to a whole different outcome for George Floyd. And we have so many stories like that all over the country, but reparations being pushed at this point, even in different cities across the United States where individual cities are coming up with a reparations plan for their black American citizens because of what they've done in their particular cities. We have cities in states like Oregon where they totally eliminated their black population and pushed them out and made it illegal for black people to even live there. So there's that. Um, but we know California is the biggest state so far that is discussing reparations plans but really, we need a federal rep reparations plan because the government played a huge part in what took place to black Americans. What has happened? There were laws in place that kept us from owning land, uh, black codes. They allowed white citizens to just come in, lynch black people, burn down cities, take over the land. And nothing has been done to repair the black community. So... A lot of times now that the discussion is growing louder, so are the haters, the tethers that are speaking against us, the white folks who feel like, why should we pay people who were never slaves and I've never owned slaves, so why should I, I have to pay with my tax dollars? Now, I don't hear those same people being just as loud about Ukraine and the billions being sent to them which we have nothing to do with. Those are not our American citizens, but they have such a big problem and a loud vocal mouth when it comes to black people, black Americans receiving reparations. So I wanna play a video and the video gives a good example in about one minute, a good example of why people that are walking around here today, some of those, well, those white folks, how they have been impacted positively by slavery and land grants, free land grants that were given by the government and how they are beneficiaries from the wealth generated from black labor, free black labor. And I'm gonna play that based on fair use and I'll follow up with my commentary. Why do black people deserve reparations for something they weren't alive for? That's a great question. Let's ask Sarah Beth what she thinks. This is Jebediah. Jebediah inherited over a hundred acres of land, his father's South Carolina plantation in the late 1800s. He was able to use the money from that land to buy a hundred more acres. In the mid-1950s, passed the land down to his son, Mark, who then sold the land for $5 million. Mark started a successful real estate company that he passed down to his son, Tim. Tim was able to take all of the wealth that he generated basically because he was just born. This is his daughter, Sarah Beth. Sarah Beth was able to go to the best schools, live in the best neighborhoods, and have the most wonderful extracurricular activities. He's now getting an engineering degree from Syracuse. Already has jobs lined up on Wall Street. He's never had to work a job. Are we really going to look Sarah Beth in her cold, dead eyes and tell her that she doesn't deserve the opportunities that's been afforded to her just because she wasn't born when the wealth is accumulated? And people like Tim would be the one saying, my father, he didn't have much. My grandfather was a farmer and my dad built a real estate company off the ground. Meanwhile, he was able to sell the land that could have been obtained through a land grant, a free land grant, and he was able to sell it for $5 million, whereas we didn't have that. My great-great-grandfather may not have had that and been able to sell such land in order to continue generational wealth building. But I do believe a lot of those people know this. They know what they accumulated. They know where their grandfather's wealth came from. They know all of this, but they just play in our face because they don't want us to have a level playing field. If we have a level, level playing field, we will excel. 
They like the degeneracy that they see on TV, on black faces on the news at night. They are okay with black people being on the very bottom. They do not want to fail their ancestors by allowing black people to get ahead of them. It would be complete failure in their eyes if black people got a level playing field and rose to the top. Because when we're equal and we start the race off evenly, there's no telling what we could do. Look at all the wonderful accomplishments we made from going from slavery to being emancipated. How many inventions our people created? How many um, great ideas that we have put forth that they have used? Even the music business and all of that, that is black wealth being generated. Even though it's going in somebody else's pockets, this is from our talent. We come up with so many different things that are awesome and are used today. Things that our forefathers have built built, and their intellectual property that's being used. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Make sure you hit that like button before you go if you haven't already. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. My analytics show that a lot of people are watching the video, but they haven't subscribed. So if that's you, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And until next time, peace.